All right, we're going to take a look at uh, adding and subtracting integers using algebra tiles. We're going to start with addition because conceptually it's a little bit easier to understand than subtraction. So if we take a look at this very simple uh, problem, 3 plus negative 7. So there's our, our 3. And conceptually, it makes sense when you're adding something that you bring it in. So we're going to bring in negative 7 here. And so when we add or subtract algebra tiles, once we have all the tiles there, we just use the zero principle. And so we take all the zeros out. So uh, we have three zeros that we can produce. We remove those and we're left with negative four. Now let's take a look at subtraction. Uh, with a traditional subtraction problem, 7 uh, subtract 3, and, and really you don't, I would argue that maybe you don't really need algebra tiles to, to do this problem uh, because they've been doing subtraction like this for years, but just to give you a sense of, of you know, what has to be done here, it, it's relatively easy and why we need to use algebra tiles when the, the problems become a little bit more complex. So we have 7 and we're literally subtracting 3 to get our answer of 4. So that's fairly straightforward, um, but let's switch that around a little bit and see how conceptually that changes. So if we reverse the problem and we do 3 subtract 7, we run into a little bit of an issue. So if we have 3, the question is how do we remove 7 from 3 items? If we're just talking about counting, and this is where that conceptual issue of negatives comes into play. And when we uh, do subtraction in this form, we have to actually have 7 to subtract. And that's where we, we use our field of zeros on, on the right. And so uh, in order to be able to subtract 7, there has to be 7 that we can subtract. And so by bringing in a field of zeros, and, and really you can bring in as many as you wish. Um, so I'm going to bring in more than I need. Uh, so I've, I've added six zeros here, and now I can subtract seven. So from there, I can take, there's three, four, five, six, seven that I've removed um, from there. And so I can remove those, and here's what I have left. Well, I have this zero I can get rid of. I have this zero that I can get rid of. And what I have left is the negative four. So now when we use the zeros from our field of zeros, we can actually bring in as many as we need so that we can actually subtract what is needed to be subtracted. And so if we now change this just slightly, now if we're subtracting negative uh, uh, 7 from 3, again, we don't have negative 7 that we can subtract, but we use the very same method, and, it, and there's no difference whether we're subtracting a negative or subtracting a positive. We start with what we have, we have the 3, and we bring in zeros. And so again, I'm going to bring in more zeros than I need. So I'm just going to bring in, bring in um, a bunch of zeros here so that I have zeros to play with. And um, now I can actually subtract my negative 7. And so uh, I have, uh, I don't take away my positives, I take away my negatives. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven. So I, it turns out I, I brought in just as enough zeros uh, that I needed in this case. Um, and so I remove those seven. They're gone, the negative seven. And what do I have left? I have 10 of the positive tiles left. And I've done my subtraction of a negative. Uh, without memorizing of a rule of uh, two negatives make a positive or vice versa, we're actually using the same concept of taking away from a field of zeros. And just to finish off, uh, let's uh, turn that problem around just a little bit. And so if we have negative uh, 4 and we want to subtract negative 2 from that, we actually don't have to use the field of zeros in this case because we actually do have two negatives that we can remove. And so we physically subtract those, they're gone, and we're left with negative two tiles. And that's adding and subtracting using algebra tiles.